So we all know how much fun lucid dreaming can be, but is there more to it than that? I believe there is. I believe we can take away some lessons from lucid dreaming and take those into our day-to-day -day lives and improve our day-to-day -day lives as a result. And today I want to talk a bit about that. Hey guys, welcome back to Tiffro. It's me Matt here and today I'm talking about living a lucid lifestyle about taking some of the things that you've learned in lucid dreams and applying them to your real life to actually benefit your real life. So I'm not going to go super into depth on this subject just now. I am going to make more videos on this subject about the different aspects of lucid living and the different things that you can take away from lucid dreaming to improve your day-to-day -day lives. Each of those things is deserving of a video of its own, so I'm not going to address it all here. But I am going to kind of introduce you to the idea and get you familiar with that. So first of all, what do I mean by a lucid lifestyle? Well, if you think about a lucid dream and its components, then you'll see that the difference between a lucid dream and a regular dream is the fact that you are aware of what is going on and you are in control. So when I talk about living a lucid lifestyle, I talk about being truly aware of where you are in your life and of actually taking control of your life. Now, to a lot of you listening to this, you're probably thinking, well, I'm aware all the time, I'm always in control. But is that really true? You see, your dreams are actually often a reflection of what is going on in your life. If you are wandering through your dreams without lucidity, then the chances are you are doing the same in real life. The only difference is that in real life, you are under the impression that you are in control all of the time, even when you are not. Because to you, you think you are simply making decisions and doing things because of those decisions. What you might not realise is that those very decisions that you made are based on your inner drives, your desire for pleasure, or uh, a particular bad habit you have might be motivating you to act in a certain way. You feel 100% in control the whole time, when in actual fact you are basically a slave to your own desires. Now I'm actually going to do a video all about this and how you can kind of reclaim some free will and actually get control over your life. That's going to be the first lucid living video that I do. But there are also other aspects to this. For example, introspection. You can learn a lot about yourself by probing your dreams, by actually asking questions in your dreams and taking something away from that. And the lessons that you learn in those dreams, the things that you discover about yourself when you speak to your subconscious, for example, or when you meditate in a lucid dream, or when you explore and just discover different characters and things going on inside your mind, those lessons then actually need to be integrated into your waking life. It's one thing to, you know, go there and experience the lesson and, you know, then know it and, and to get something cool from your subconscious. You, you know, you ask your subconscious about what you want to do in life and you get some really awesome message back from it that really kind of enlightens you and tells you what you should be doing. It's one thing to get that message, but if you get that message and you don't really do anything about it, then have you really learned anything? Have you really gained anything? I think that what's more important than getting the message or actually having an experience in a lucid dream is being able to then do something with that when you're awake. So for example, if you asked uh, your subconscious what career path you should be following and you got an answer and you really like the answer and it you know, resonates with you and you feel that it's the right path for you, then you should be taking action immediately the next day after you've had that dream to somehow move you towards that. You know, if you're um, a young teenager then you should be looking at how, what kind of education can you go along uh, in order to move you towards that career. If you're uh, a young adult who's already left school and that, you should be looking at well, what can I do right now to get me into that career. And another aspect of living a lucid lifestyle comes from learning about how dream control works. In a dream, the essence of dream control is belief. If you believe in something strongly enough, you can make it happen in a dream. It's as simple as that because your own beliefs make up what your subconscious creates. So when you believe a certain thing about the world in a dream, that is how the world will manifest. Now, learning from this, we can apply a similar thing to our real lives. Now, while belief works a little bit differently in the real world, there are some kind of limitations to what it can accomplish. You can still learn from that. You can still learn from the fact that you have to really believe in something to be able to accomplish it. And you will find that while you might not be able to, say, spawn a new Ferrari in front of you just by believing in it hard enough while you're awake, if you believe hard enough that, say, you're able to accomplish something, to get a particular job, to earn a particular amount of money, to meet a particular person, uh, or to do something good for the world, then you're going to be motivated enough to actually go out and accomplish that. If you don't have that belief, then you're not going to get there because your subconscious 
Just as it creates your dream reality, also governs your actions and the things that you do in the real world. So just as not believing that you can fly in a lucid dream is going to prevent you from flying, not believing that you can get that dream job in the real world is going to prevent you from ever getting that real job. Now there are so many aspects of this from what you learn in lucid dreams and in regular dreams that you can take into your real life. And I want you to actually just think about that now. I want you to think about the things that you've learned so far with your lucid dreaming experiences or just from what you've heard me saying about lucid dreaming and think about how some of those things might apply to your waking life. Take a few minutes to contemplate that now and just think about that. And look forward to the new videos on the subject that will be coming out soon. The first of which, like I said, is going to be about how you're kind of running on autopilot all the time, just like you were in your dreams, and how you can start to get lucid while awake and actually reclaim some control and not run on autopilot. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And maybe you guys are already applying some of this. Maybe some of you have learned something from your lucid dreams that has helped you in your real lives. If that is the case, then let me know down below in the comments. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed and you want more, remember to subscribe up there. And if you want to keep watching, check out the video that's linked on screen. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.